see let's see if we fit each other a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> are you okay to stay on the road for three to four weeks? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't see nothing. Not. Can you, yeah. Can you cover 35, 100 miles every can, week? Can I? Three can, weeks in a row. Can I, can I do what now? Can you cover 3,500 miles three to four weeks in a row? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that's, that's what's up. That's, that's what you that's that's what you offering. I mean that that's what you offering, and that's that's the average that I can that I can get, uh, just about every week. This is what we require. Uh huh. Okay, so so uh, what you so are what, you work as an independent contractor? Hold on, I can't hear you. Would you, would you say it's like you going in and out? Are you okay to work as a ten ninety nine independent contractor? Okay, you you guys are 1099 company. I, I don't see nothing wrong with that. What's going on, everybody? Lockout Man back again with another video for that ass. What's going on? Welcome back to the Lockout Man podcast show. And in this episode, it is another MTC edition. That's right. Make the call. Who am I going to call today? Let's find out. You know what I'm saying? But before, but before we get into all of that, let's do this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit that bell and that all button. That all button lets you know when I go live. And that all button lets you know when I drop videos. I go live normally around 8 o'clock-ish. You know, maybe all the way up to the end of this year. And then we'll see how next year looks. If you like to donate to the channel, if you like what I do, first thing first. If you like what I do, make sure you show it by hitting that like button. That like button. Let's just stop right there for a minute. Let me... Let me talk to you. That like button. That like button is important. Okay. If you don't like what I do, hit the dislike button. It, it, it won't hurt me. It won't hurt me not one bit. But if you like what I do and it helps, show it by hitting that like button. That like button works and it's free. You know what I'm saying? The dislike button, that's free too. I, I, I come to find out that YouTube likes the like button. The more likes that I get, the more YouTube will help me get the, get my content out. And that's what you guys want, right? Y'all want to help me get this content out, right? Do that for me. All right. All right. Let's get back at it. So if you want to donate to the channel you can also do that as well you can hook a brother up with some coffee you know what i'm saying the cash app and the coffee app is in the description below but i also have a new joint i also had the membership up too so you can join you know i probably might be able to do some exclusive shit with you like for example i can have you in on the call wouldn't you like that like for example I, you can make the call talk to them i can ask them some questions as well we could tag team together w wouldn't you like that i don't know if you like it because you're not joining so hit that join button and maybe we can work something out all right all right so let's get into this episode who am i calling today who am i calling today lockout lockout who am i calling today we're calling d v l express that's what's up dvl express man we called we we called them we got them on the line we tried to call them like uh a day or two ago but we wasn't able to get through but we got through to them today and i was able to talk to a young man that was in the recruiting department kind of hard to understand but that's how it is with with black ops companies out here in the illinois area DVL Express is located, they're located in Markham, Illinois. This is a company that's offering over the road, and he said that they do have one local position out in 
New Jersey. Unfortunately, I'm from Ohio, so I won't be able to do the New Jersey run. So this will probably be over the road. And what he told me about over the road was kind of good. This company right here is like for runners. If you're a runner, then this company is for you. 1099. He didn't mention nothing about lease. So this is 1099 company. So of course, no benefits. You know, you have to find the benefits yourself and you have to do your own taxes. All right. Now, he also said that you have to get an LLC. Now, I did ask him about that, you know, kind of like why, you know what I'm saying? But if you already have an LLC, it's good. But if you don't have one, they're going to require you to get an LLC. They got Volvos and Freightliners. So whatever's available. Uh, whatever's available, you would get it. They're both automatic. What else? What else to say about the truck? They're outfitted with refrigerators and uh, microwaves and inverters. All right. So let's uh, go to the bit board and see what they have to offer. So DVL Express have a CDL drive for DVL. That's what's up. Why work with DVL Express? They says if you don't want to sit around after being hired, which some of you are if you like driving the latest model uh, late model vehicles which we do if you prefer having the freedom to choose what trailer types you pull and where you pull them i like that okay i'm good with that if you desire being well compensated and additionally rewarded for job performance and if you value the ever available ever available and reliable dispatch service to call on I'm, I'm liking that we good we good and if you would like to join a young vibrant team make that family they only been in existence for nine years so they still growing then dvl express sounds like a match made in heaven in fact with everything we have to offer the question really becomes why wouldn't you work with dvl express modern modern vehicle fleet 24-hour dispatch energetic and pleasant staff all different tra tra trailer types now what he has told me that the trailer that i'll be pulling is a reefer trailer they do have here we go here we go they got flatbed uh refrigerated oversized special and then on the drive-in is FTL and LTL. Let's see what let's, let's see what uh, see what so special about DVL. They got hotel lodge. They got hotel like lodging accommodations, large living and dining room areas with TVs, washer and dryers, full service fitness center, a traumatic massage chair, billiards, ping pong, poker tables. I'm there. You already had me at poker. Wi-Fi, company loaner cars, on-site parking with 24-7 security, corporate parties, and company-sponsored athletic team and training. They got regional, over-the-road, owner-operator lease options, and local driving. So what he has told me so far was local driver that's available up in Jersey and refrigerated over the road what do you guys think what do you guys think y'all y'all think uh y'all think dvl is the is the quite spot for you again before you make that decision make sure you listen to the call hello 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 i can hear you all right all right what's going on bro uh i'm trying to get a hold of a recruiter this is um DVL Express, right? Yes. All right, all right, cool, cool. I'm I'm on the website. You know, the website looking pretty good, pretty nice. Um, I'm interested in finding out uh what what, what you guys have to offer. Now, first thing first, my name is Sean, uh, five year truck driver. Uh, a am I talking to a recruiter? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, awesome, what awesome. All right, that'll work, man. That'll work. All right, so, um. You know, I'm doing my research and all like that. And then, you know, I seen a, a DVL truck on the road, you know, and I think uh, I'm up here in Illinois. So I think uh, 
I was at a at the Chicago 55 or something like that, and I think that's where I I seen the truck. So um, I decided to come, you know, look you guys up and and to see, you know, what you guys have to offer. So can you can you give me a little bit of background about this company because, like I said, I haven't seen it much. Um, okay, but tell me first, please, uh, how much experience do you have? I got Overall. five. I got five years since this December. Five years. Wow. Okay. Um, what in the past year? Hold on. I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. What'd you say? Yeah. What kind of, what type of work were you, were you been doing for the past year? What type of work? I'm a truck driver. I've been driving trucks yeah, for the last five. Been- I know. Have you been local, over the road? Oh, oh, uh, no, I, 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 no, I, no, I, I've done them all, man. I, I've done them all. OTR, uh, did a little bit of regional, a uh, little bit of local work, but you know, for for right now, you know, for what I'm currently doing right now is is is. What are you doing? Huh? What What is it that you're looking for right now, and what are you best in? Uh, well, that's why that's why I'm calling to talk to you guys to see what you got, to see what you got available. You know, I'm pretty much open to, you know, open to finding out what you got. Okay, I have a local position in New Jersey. New Jersey. Okay. All right. New Jersey. Um. All right. What else do you got? I have a reefer over the road position. All right. All right. So all right, we 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 could talk about we 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 could talk about uh refer over the world because uh you said the local position up in new jersey you have to pretty much stay in new jersey right because i'm i'm from ohio okay then over the road over the road with the research that would be the best for you. right 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 okay okay so uh so it this is a reefer trailer that i'll be pulling um how how long have you guys how long have you guys been in existence, though? Because, like I said, when I went to go and do my research mm-hmm. about uh, DVL, I, I really haven't gotten much of a background. Mm-hmm. Like, have y'all been in existence for thirty years, ten mm-hmm. years? How many years? Nine years. Oh, nine years. Okay, okay. So y'all, so y'all's relatively, uh, relatively new. Okay, okay. All right. So, of course, when I put my. Uh, when I put my application in with you, you know you're gonna check my background and all like that. Everything will come up come up real good. I don't have a, I don't have no problems with uh with that. Um, what coming into orientation? What? How would you get me there? Where are you located as far as uh orientation goes? And what do I have to bring? What do I have to bring? Let's see if we fit each other a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> are you okay to stay on the road for three to four weeks? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't see nothing. About... Can you, yeah. Can you cover 35, 100 miles every can, week? Can I? Three can, weeks in the road. Can I, can I do what now? Can you cover 3,500 miles? Three to four weeks in a row. Oh hell yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that's that's what's up. That's that's what you that's that's what you, you offering. I mean that that's what you offering, that's and that's your, that's the average that I can that I can get, uh, just about every week. This is what we require. Uh huh. Okay, so so uh, what you so are what, you work as a independent contractor? Hold on, I can't hear you. Would you, would you say it's like you going in and out? Are you okay to work as a 1099 independent contractor? Okay, you you guys are 1099 company. I I don't see nothing wrong with that. Yes. All right, so I will be so I will be a company driver, but it, it would instead of W two, I will be getting 10. I will be doing 1099. So I will be responsible yes. for my taxes. Uh, and you guys, mm-hmm. and you guys, not offering no benefits or nothing like that, right? No. Okay. Now, 
now as a company driver, would I still be responsible for truck payments or anything like that? No, no. You're going to be paid by the mile. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. So cool, cool. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about the pay, man. Uh, ten ninety nine. What you what what you offering for are us? You, no, there, there's a second. There's a second question about the ten ninety nine. Are you okay to open LLC or small corporation? I don't have no problem with that. I I already have an LLC, but if I had to open up a second one okay. just for just for no. the trucking aspect of if it, if you have it, it's a if you have it, it's good. Um, so I'll be able to start you on a 65 cents per mile with the automatic Freightliner or Volvo. Okay, okay, okay. So let okay. So let me uh, let me let me back up a little bit so I can wrap my head around everything that you just told me. So mm -hmm. uh, I'll be com I'll be coming in I'll be coming in to you as a 1099 driver, uh, company driver. And you guys require me to open up uh, a LLC. Now, can I ask a quick question about that, though? Mm -hmm. Why would you guys require me to open up an LLC for? Let's just say if I didn't have one already. You'd have to open one or uh, we wouldn't be a good fit for you. Oh, okay. 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 All of our drivers, uh, all of our drivers, uh, they are uh, all of the people that work with us. They're our contractors. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so uh, sixty-five cent a mile, which which is pretty good. You know, pretty good. Sixty-five. Uh, sixty-five. Can 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 you do better than that? Because you know, because I'm, I, I'm, you six, know, I, it's six five. Oh, six five. Can can you do better than six five or is six five? That will be that, that would be the beginning. Oh. Uh, we would. Uh, I would be able to uh, do sixty-eight in uh, three to four weeks. Okay. And keep it sixty-eight till the end of the year. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. So, uh, so all right. So let's uh, let's rewind it back. Like, how how would I have to? How would I get up the orientation? And how long would it last? The orientation is two days, and you'll have to get here to Chicago, Markham, Illinois, to be particular. Okay, okay. So you 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 won't be able to cover my expenses coming up to you, right? We, uh, yes. So, you, so basically you would come up here and then we will reimburse you your, your uh, expenses up to $200 with your second check. Okay, awesome. All right. So, what about pre-employment drug screening? Do I do that at home, or do that, or do I do that up here in Illinois? You do it in uh, in you do it in Illinois, and uh, the pre-employment drug screen is on you. Okay. All right. So, six, sixty-five. That sounds good. LLC. I already got that check. Uh, Ten ninety-nine. I don't have a problem with that check. Uh, over the road for about what three weeks at a time? Check. I can, I can do that. Yeah. Uh, I, I can do that. My so with that about thirty five hundred miles, sixty five. So my annual will be somewhere around the ballpark of what about seventy five seventy five grand a year. At least. Well. I think so. It would be something between seventy-five and uh, and a hundred thousand. Depends on uh, it. It depends on how much you really cover. All right. Now let if me. If you go for if you go if you go home for uh, every three weeks for three to four days, you'll be doing something around ninety. I would say. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm, hey, I'm getting excited, man. You you, you kind of get me excited. So I only got a few more questions to ask before I actually, make, you know, put mm -hmm. put this down and start, you know, making my decision process. But uh, 1099, you guys mm -hmm. don't cover nothing. But do you guys, if I break down or if I get now, I'll be driving reefer trailers. So this is going to be like 90 percent live load and live unload. So would I be get would I get detention? Mm -hmm. Would I would I get detention pay if I'm held up? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. After uh, after four hours, you'll get fifteen dollars an hour. Oh, okay. 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 Assuming that you yeah, assuming that you make sure that 
bill, uh, the DOLs have uh, uh, some marks about time in and time out. Okay, 10 4 on that. All right, so you require, now you just told me that you require me to do at least 3,500 miles uh, uh, a week, man. So is that what I'm going to actually get yeah. when, I, when I sign up with you, when I sign that dotted line? And 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 you said that I would be getting thirty five, at, at least thirty five. I'll say thirty to th- uh, three thousand to thirty five hundred. That's what I will be getting a week. I won't I won't see no no slack, or I won't get no issues from the fleet manager tell me oh there's no freight that needs to be moved. I don't think so. By the, uh, the well till the uh, till the Christmas. It's going to be pretty much uh, freight. Then it's going to get slow for probably like three, four weeks. And then it, it'll, it'll bring itself up uh, again. Okay, okay. That's what's up. Um, the uh, the equipment, would I get to choose the Volvo? Because I, I'm I'm happy in a Volvo. And what's all in the Volvo? Right? Um, if, if, I'll have, if, I'll, if I'll have a Volvo available here, you'll get a Volvo. If, uh, uh, I don't have Volvo. You'll get a Freightliner. Oh, okay. Well, let's hope that a Volvo will be there. <laughs> uh, refrigerator, APU, inverter inside inside there. What 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 I got for an amenities? Fridge, microwave, and inverter. <sighs> see, man, you I, I'm I'm getting excited, man. I, you should see the sweat going across my eye right now, bro. Um, all right. So chill, chill. <laughs> it's not that. It, it's not. It, 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 don't get too excited. You might blow. <laughs> it's, it's all good. All it right. is, it, look, I must say, it, it is for dispatch. Uh, and it, so okay. you'll have like this close tight thing with the, with your dispatcher and there's not going to be uh, very much room for uh, uh, for anything than, than, than work in uh, the three weeks. Okay. Uh, the dispatchers are very like they they expect you to perform uh, at least three thirty uh, like at least thirty five hundred miles a week. Okay. okay. The market is hot right now. We can and we are we're we're making this. Uh, we're ready to make this uh, till the end of the year. Okay. It's been hot, and the the last thing I have to check is your moving violation record, PST. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, criminal background and employment history. Oh, okay, okay, that's no, that's. And after uh, that, I can, yeah, and after that, I can, I can tell you whether we start and when do we start. start. Okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Like All right, that. I, I got my, my, I guess my last few questions would be like, uh, being that you only been in existence for nine years, man. What's, what's, and you said it is kind of forced. So I guess my. My one question would be is what's the company turnover? Because not too many of us drivers like to be forced dispatch. No, uh, it's not, not a big, uh, we work only, only with the, well, primarily for a long time, all of our fleet was Eastern European, uh, driver. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, uh, we're getting it equal. Okay. 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 I would say so. Um, yeah, but dispatchers are making their money out of the percentage from the gross. Okay. Okay. So the guy in the in the office will uh, will will gonna will work with you for your check and for his check as well. Oh. Okay. Okay. So I his see. best interest his best his best interest is to give you three loads per week, one. Too long, one short, or maybe two long loads, and so so he just can forget about you, you know, for a couple of days. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. How would I how would I get dispatch, man? Because and, I'm I'm assuming I'm assuming that you guys use the tablet only for oh. ELD. So how would I how would I get dispatch? Yeah. Like, would it be over my phone or would it be wh- how? Yeah, text messages on your phone. All right. Hey, would I would I get covered for for the use of my phone? Would would, would again? Would I? Okay. So since I'm using my personal phone for business purposes, would would I get? Will you guys mm-hmm. you know cut, you know cut a little in for the use of my phone? 
Because if that's the no, case, we, I'm we're not paying for the for the oh, phone. Okay. okay, so and that's the case, I'm going to have to get another phone sorely for you guys. Okay, okay. Why? And I can and I can. No, I can, you don't have to. You don't have to get another phone uh, just to work. He's gonna probably call you a couple of times a day and uh, give you a few ma- a few text messages, and that's it. Oh, oh. You have oh. to use. Uh, uh, yeah, we you will get a tablet for the ELD, so you're you're pretty much covered. Oh, okay, 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 cool, cool. All right, bro. Um, that's uh, that's that's all I got, man. Uh, I'm I'm going to take this information yeah. back. Last question you have. Uh, you have one more yeah. question. Uh, How do you apply yeah, it? Yeah, my my last question is, uh, um, what's your guys' policies on people uh, on person for personal protection? Um, I'm I'm a CCW holder, so. Am I able to, you know, bring my personal weapon with me on the truck? We don't have no policy on that. Oh, okay, then that's what's up. Hey, bro, thank you very much, man. Um, I am definitely going to take this information back with me. I'm also in a Facebook group, so, you know, mm-hmm. I got other drivers that might be interested as well. So um, I am going to go ahead, mm-hmm. ch- uh, talk shop, and... And and think hard because, like I said, so far, so far, what you told me, man, about the about the company sounds good. But I am, to be honest with you, I am a little leery on the force dispatch part of things. But I I can you know I I can You're gonna like work it. yeah I, I can work into I, I can work into that you know. Well, it's not like it's not like they say like, oh, I don't care. You just have to go. I don't care if it's Wyoming or something. Oh, okay. It's pretty decent. Believe me, like, um, I have around 300 drivers here, and uh, most of them came to the uh, and the average age of the driver in the company is like three years or something. So Okay. We don't work with, we, I have like half of the company, they came here a year ago, a year and a half ago, two years ago. Okay, that's what's up, man. All right, well, like I said, bro, so I'm, people come and people stay. There you go. That's how it works, man. That's how it works. So, but hey, thank you, man. I, I'm definitely going to take this back with me. Um, like I said, I got a Facebook group, so I'm definitely going to, you know, shoot this out to them as well. Mm-hmm. You know, to get your get your name out there because, like I said, I, I let's start, I, 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 let's I, start with you and see how, if we have available trucks. That's what's That's up. <laughs> That's what's up. All right, man. Well, thank you very much, yep. though. Thank you. Uh, DVL Trucking, everybody. Wow. Lots. Uh, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in with this company right here, man. It's a it's a lot to take in. So first thing first, let me uh, let me break it to you guys. All everything that I'm about to say is opinionated. All right. So it's all my opinion. All right. But I did talk to the young man. I got the facts for you guys. They are a Eastern European company. Uh, They are forced dispatch. So if you're if you're. Uh, not wanting to go a certain place like me, for example, I don't want to mess with the Northeast. Don't want to mess with the Northeast. So that this might not be the company for you. Uh, he already said that he already said that they inspect you, inspect you to do about 3,500 miles a week. Now that's pretty good. That's pretty good, man. Let's, let's, let's break the calculator out for that ass, man. Hold on right quick. We're going to break the calculator out for that ass. So you figure 3,500 times 0.65. You, you, you grossing 2275. You grossing 2275. Now, mind you, the taxes you're going to have to take out yourself. So. You got to do your taxes and all that other good stuff. Is working for a company as a 1099 driver with LLC attached to you is a good thing? Maybe. Maybe. Now, 
this reminds me of a of a previous call that I have made. You know what I'm saying? Now this probably might be the company to get in, grind for your money, and then get out. You see what I'm saying? Because as you know, as you already know, 1099, you're not gonna get no 401k, you're not gonna get no benefits, you're not gonna get nothing, you're just gonna get paid. That's it. You don't have to worry about paying for the truck. The truck is either an automatic Volvo with refrigerator and uh, and a microwave or an automatic freight liner with a refrigerator and or a microwave. I hope it's a Volvo. <laughs> okay. But um, you just got to know, like, a lot of these companies that's up in the Chicagoland area, I call them. But, but from what he's offering, what he's offering, he's offering to a guy that want to get out there and grind. All right? I am said guy. But as I said before, I'm not a fan of forced dispatch. I think that's, I think that's probably the only thing that pretty much turned me off, you know, when he was telling me about the company. But... I'm not a fan of forced dispatch. I mean, if I don't want to go nowhere, then I don't want to be forced to go anywhere. I'm I'm just saying. I'm just saying. DVL Express. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of that call? Now it was kind of hard to understand him, but you know, he did come through on some, you know, on some good questions. Now, he's gonna check your background, he's gonna check your PSP. He might not check your DAC. But he is going to check that PSP, the background, and your work history. All right. You got to make sure that this is the right company for you. You see what I'm saying? So, with that in mind, see what I'm saying? I keep saying that. I got to stop saying that. Huh. With that in mind, what do you guys think? Do you guys, do, do you guys think that this is a, do you guys think that this is the company for you? Do you want do you want to rock out for a company like this? Because 3,500 miles every week, 2,000, you get paid every week, $2,275-ish times two, two, four, six, eight, about 10 grand a month, just about. Is that good for you? It might be. If it is, give them a call, man. DVL Express. They are the phone number is eight or wait yeah eight six six two five five three uh five three eight five definitely give them a call they are located out of I'll tell you in a minute they are located out of Markham Illinois D V L Express. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Lockout Man Makes the Call. If this call helps you out any type of way, please hit that like button. That like button lets YouTube know that you're rocking with me and you want more calls like this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit that bell and that all button. That all button lets you know when I drop videos. And that all button lets you know when I go live. I usually go live about 8 o'clock-ish, give or take. I'm just saying. But until next time, until the next MTC call, get your uh get your to get the get your suggestions in now for the next call that you might want me to make. And while you at it, hook a brother up with some coffee so I can do it for you. You know what I'm saying? The Cash App is in the description below along with the coffee app. And if you want more exclusive content like personal calls and bring you in on the call i could probably do that but you gotta join you gotta you, you gotta join three tiers breakfast lunch and dinner all right until next time everybody y'all take it easy y'all stay blessed and come back again to the nets mtc on the lockout men podcast show y'all be blessed i'll talk to y'all later searching searching, searching. Searching, searching, and searching, and searching, searching.